All right, check this out. This is the oscillating cart lab. And we've got the pulley going to a string over to this. And we have a 100 gram mass down here. So as the cart gets pulled, the weight comes up. Well, work with this diagram. Small mass here, large mass here. The distance from the pulley down to the top of the cart is y. x equals zero here, and we can go to either side. If we pull the cart back, the hanging mass rises. We'll say the distance up is h, distance to the right will be x. We're going to release the cart from rest. What will be the final velocity when it reaches the equilibrium position? Using the meter stick, I get 25 centimeters from the center of the pulley to here. The cart's 500 grams. The hanging mass is 100 grams. We'll measure the velocity at the equilibrium using this photo gate timer. I'll place it over here. There's two photo gates, one here and one here. And when something passes through it and blocks the light, it starts and stops a timer. I'll be using the built-in tape measure. We'll first check the geometry. Let's see how far this weight rises. When I pull the cart back, 20 centimeters. I have the big weights holding it in place. Did it rise as much as you predicted? We'll do a few trials. This one is at 10 centimeters. We get 0.24 meters per second. Second trial, same distance, 10 centimeters. 0.25. Now we go to 20 centimeters. 0.49, second time. 0.49 again. Now we go to 30 centimeters. 0.69, second trial at 30 centimeters. 0.69. Now I'm at 40 centimeters. 0.86. Second trial, 40 centimeters. 0.87. I'm at 50. 1.03. Second run at 50. 1.03. Now we're going to get a time for half an oscillation. This is from 10 centimeters. 1.14. At 20 centimeters. 1.23. At 30. 1.34, again at 30. 1.35, at 40. 1.47, and again at 40. 1.48. Now at 50. 1.59. Again at 50. 1.60. And lastly at 5 centimeters. 1.14. Again at 5 centimeters. 
there is definitely damping going on. It's clearly the amplitude is decreasing. So first, make sure the geometry check works out. We pulled it back 20 centimeters, and the weight rose according to the meter stick. And you should make sure you can do that math. And in part one of the experiment, we pulled the cart back and released it from rest at 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 centimeters. And we got these velocities. You should make a graph of the velocity final versus the x initial, both experimentally and theoretically. In the second part of the lab, we pulled the cart back and released it from rest from these distances. And these were the times for half a period of oscillation. You should graph the experimental period, not period over two, graph the experimental period versus the release distance, xi, which is the amplitude. And then plot a theoretical period for a small amplitude a small initial displacement. Let's not forget that's 25 centimeters from here to here. That's a 500 gram cart, 100 gram mass out here. And here's a couple more questions. If I pull this back far enough and let it go, what kind of a lab would this approximate? Now think about this. As the cart comes flying through, it's gonna go pretty fast. This weight is gonna be dropping it's going to have to come to a stop when the cart gets to the equilibrium position. Is there a limit to how quickly this thing can stop before this cart lifts off the table?